How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Harvest as recorded by Neil Young on guitar. This is a great song to work on your folk singer-songwriter strumming. We're going to go through an 8-bar chord progression that's our main chord progression for the entire song. And we're going to use something called a bass note strum where we hit the root note of each chord and then we do some strumming after that. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step. So when you're done with this video, you'll be able to go and play right along with the original recording. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with something right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack that you can get for some lessons here on my channel. I know it can be tough following along with a video without a tab. So at the first link down below, you can get some tabs that go along with lessons here on my channel. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, Let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Harvest as recorded by Neil Young on guitar. Now this song is primarily an eight bar chord progression and we have a little intro and a tag. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing. We're gonna start with the intro and it goes like this. We're going to just stay on a D chord here and we'll play this chord from the fourth string down. Open, two, three, two. And one of the cool things we can practice with this song is hitting a bass note first. So as we go through every chord in the song, we're going to try to just pluck the root of that chord first. So we're going to play the D string just that single note. So depending upon what chord we're playing, our bass note is gonna vary, but typically it's the first note that you're supposed to play in the chord. So if this is our D chord, we're gonna start with the fourth string, and then we're gonna go up, down, up. These are gonna be all eighth notes. We'll count it like this. One and two and, so that's bass, up, down, up. Then we're going to alternate the bass. So if we stay on a chord for more than two beats, we're going to have an alternating bass note strum. So that's going to sound like this. So I played the fourth string, up, down, up, then the fifth string, up, down, up. And that gives us this real classic country folk guitar part like this. Great sound. So that's our intro. We're going to play that for four bars. One and two and three, four and second bar, third bar, fourth bar. Then we go into the main chord progression, and this is where Neil Young comes in singing. We're going to play this for the first four bars. So this starts on a D, bass, up, down, up. Now remember, we're going to continue that strumming throughout. So we're going to go to the A chord next. And I'll play that from the A string down like this. Open, two, 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 open. Then we'll play the bass note, up, down, up. Then the next chord is G. And you can play any G that you like, you know, whatever G is comfortable for you. I use this one for this song. It's kind of a folk sounding G. Got the third fret, I'm muting the fifth string, then open, 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 three. Then we go back to D. So the first two bars go one and two. Okay, now remember that I said when we stay on a chord longer than two beats, we're going to alternate the bass. So here we're going to actually stay on the D for six beats. So it's going to be the last two beats of measure two and then a whole other measure. So that's going to go. So we'll keep that bass alternating. So once we land on the D, it's going to go. 
just like our intro. Then we'll go to the A chord for a bar. Now here, because we're staying on it for a full measure, we're gonna alternate the bass between the fifth string and the sixth string. So it's gonna go bass, up, down, up, alternate bass note, up, down, up. So all together, the first four bars from where Neil comes in singing sound like this. Three and four and one and two and A, G, D. Stay there, alternate the bass. A. All right, then we've got four more bars. The next four bars go like this. So there, I'm going to a G chord for two beats, then an A chord for two beats, then a new chord here, B minor. Now this is played from the fifth string down, two, four, four, three, two. And if you're having trouble with this, don't be afraid to go back and rewind this video and play it over again. Also, you can get the tabs down below. So here we've got a B minor chord. Now here's an easier version if that's too hard. You can play from the fifth string down like this. Every other string, two, open, two, open, two. This is a B minor seven chord and it can often be substituted for that B minor. And it's gonna remove the barring aspect. But if you can get this chord, this is what's on the recording. Then we'll go to E. Now this chord is played all six strings, open, two, two, one, open, open. Then we're gonna return back to D and stay here for two bars. So the second four bars, the bottom line in the tab, sound like this. Three and four and... back to the top. So the entire progression, starting from the verse, all eight bars sound like this. Three and four and. Now when we end, we do what's called a tag, and we repeat the final four bars. G, A, B minor, E, D, and we end here on D. Great job working on Harvest by Neil Young. Make sure to go and play this along with the recording and just focus on getting those bass notes accurate and then the strumming in between. So you really get more of a two dimensional effect like bass and then chord as opposed to just strumming like one dimensionally the way a lot of beginners strum. This is a little bit more of an advanced accompaniment technique. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. If you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're gonna get so much more out of these lessons that come with tabs and sheet music and everything you need to get the most out of the lesson. So check that out as my gift to you. As always, leave any song requests down below. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.